Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I created this Office Explainer animation project from beginning to the end. After finalizing with the overall scene setup, I started with the rough sketch to put all the ideas on the paper and then jumped on to Adobe Illustrator and started with adding the basic shapes. As this is the initial stage of the illustration, I am avoiding the color selection process in this stage to get the overall structure correct first. Once I am done with the basic structure, I started adding colors, taking references from Adobe Color and Pinterest. Once I'm happy with the overall colors, I started adding more elements on the illustration. And here I am with the illustrations that I would need for this explainer video animation. So the video starts with the lift and then goes zooming into the meeting room, from the meeting room to the laptop scene and then finally ends with the signature animation on a document. So after the illustrations are finalized, then I started with separating the layers in Illustrator to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. In After Effects, I started with this zoom in transition animation. For this zoom in transition, I used a null layer for camera zoom. I added a null layer and parented all the composition and other scene elements with this null layer and simply scaled up this null layer to zoom into the door. In between the zoom in transition, I opened the door with position keyframes. While zooming in, I made the motion graph somewhat like this. I gave a long ease at the start and slightly decreased the ease at the end to give a very slow camera movement at the start. While zooming in, I added some parallax effect during the zoom in transition. For this fast, I added some position animation in x-axis and for the mating room, I scaled down the room composition a bit and due to the perspective change, I morphed the shape of the chair during the zoom in transition to add some dimension to the scene. Now all the other movement of the parallax effect should have the exact same motion graph as the zoom in transition keyframes. So instead of fixing the graphs manually, I used a plugin called eScopy to copy and paste the motion graphs. Well, eScopy is a free plugin. To use eScopy properly, you need to select the pair of keyframes from which you need to copy the graph and then click on copy and select the another set of keyframes and click is and you got the exact same motion graph. In this scene, I rigged all the characters with Twig structures and animated them accordingly with Twig controllers. If you want to learn how to rig and animate characters with Twig Basil, then you can check out my previous tutorial on character rigging and animation. I will give the link in the description or you can check out the i button on the top right corner. So after I'm done with the character animation in this scene, I added a UI pop-up. For the UI animation, I animated the position, skill and opacity property of the layers. For the internal elements, I did the same. For the line, I added a trim path and animated the end value. Then I offset the keyframes to add some follow through. Then I added a match cut for the meeting room scene to the laptop close up view. To add a match cut, I used the same website UI to maintain the continuity. To add some extra touch to the match cut, I added an anticipation for a click in the previous scene and a click on the laptop close-up view scene. To rig this hand, I used Twig Bezier plugin. To rig each of the fingers, I used arm structures. To animate the hand, I animated the position and rotation property of the hand composition and animated the fingers with Twig controllers. Then I moved on with the internal UI animation in the laptop screen. To animate the toggle button, I used a circle and a rectangle shape and animated the position property of the circle. And then animated the fill property under shape layer for both the shapes to change the color. For this power graph UI, to animate the line strokes, I again added trim path and animated the end value property under the trim path to bring it into the scene. For the bars, I animated the scale property in Y axis. To animate the pie chart, I used a circle shape and then added stroke and removed fill and then added trim path and animated the end value. 
I then duplicate the ships multiple times and varied the end value under the trimmer to get the final result. To animate this checkpoint UI, I again use trim path for the line animation to make it appear into the scene and offset the keyframes to add some follow through. Then I moved on with the next transition. To add anticipation to this transition, I added a tap animation with the hand. After the tap, the laptop screen slightly rotates. For that, I converted the laptop screen in 3D layer and animated it in Z axis. Then for the transition, I moved the laptop screen scene outside the window and then brought in the table scene which gave an illusion of the camera movement in Y axis. For the camera movement, I added a long ease at the start to give a very slow start. To make this transition even better, I used a few shape layers for paper. For that, I added thick strokes and then added a trim path on it. Then adjusted the start and end value to get the shape of a paper and then animated the offset property under trim path. Then I duplicate the shape multiple times and played with the shape path and here is how it looks. After the camera reached the table, I bought in the document papers. For the document, I animated the position property and rotated it along the path. To distort the paper, I used pen it effect. Finally, for this signature animation, I animated the sign stroke shape with trim path and then animated the hand along the sign stroke path. And here is how it looks. So these are the steps I follow throughout the project and here is how it finally turned out. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. If you liked the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.